Yep. This is the first tractor I ever owned. It was built in 1972, and we're in the process of trying to restore it right now. And as you can see, it's a work in progress. It's almost 50 years old. It's a rare day that Bill Jeans and his son Billy can take time to tinker in the shop. Usually there's more pressing work here at Dividing Farm in Cecil County. Today's break might have something to do with their helpers, Billy's daughters, eight-year-old Madison and two-year-old Lily. The girls are the next generation, one that could someday take over the farm. Oh boy, look at that. I'm Big Bill and my son is Little Bill, although he's three inches taller than I am <laughs> and a lot heavier. Together, father and son till about 1,100 acres in the Earlville area, some of it waterfront property that's been in the family for the past two centuries. And their equipment? It's come a long way since Bill's first tractor. Today, the farm's fleet is equipped with something called precision technology. Precision agriculture is being able to put the right seed, the right fertilizer, at the right depth, at the right place, the right time, you know, everything being perfect. On a hot day in mid-July, Bill and Billy are preparing to use precision ag to plant soybeans. But first, they're preparing the ground by spreading mushroom compost. It's left over from Billy's other enterprise, Dividing Farm Trucking, which delivers used soil from the nearby Phillips Mushroom Farm to area grain farms. For one, we're trying to put on a organic matter source, which has fertilizer in it. But two, it allows the soil to hold more water. It retains more water, more fertilizer, i.e. not allowing it to, you know, if we get a big flooding rain, not allowing it to go down the side of a hill. In the past, the jeanses would have spread an even amount of mushroom compost over the entire field. But this year, they're using a computer program that directs the spreader to automatically adjust the amount based on the quality of the soil in each section of the field. This prescription is a data map developed by Billy's crop consultant, Matt Ferrace. The prescription file is basically, it's taking data such as soil data, harvest data, and it's determining the good and bad areas of the field. There can be a lot of variation in a field like this, where some soil is good. You can tell by the dark, the dark color and then the nice clumpy texture. And some is not so good. These rocks that are out here in the field are kind of indicative of poor soil quality. So what we're trying to do with our spreading prescription, we're trying to boost the organic matter, so therefore we're actually putting almost twice the amount of mushroom soil in this area of the field as opposed to the area of the field that we know is a higher producing field that has a good organic matter content. GPS on top of the cab keeps track of the spreader's location, allowing the tractor to drive itself, spreading more compost or less as needed. Inside the cab, a monitor shows Bill what's going on. Nothing is overapplied. Nothing is spread outside our boundaries of the fields. The electronics and the technology allow us to be very specific about what we do. And efficiency equals savings, whether it's compost, fertilizer, or seed. It definitely has made a difference on our bottom line. When it's time to get the soybeans in the ground, the prescription directs the planter to place more seeds in low-yielding areas and fewer in the areas where the crop is already expected to do well. The computer keeps track of what's been planted and what hasn't, even shutting off the flow of seeds to prevent overlap. So we are getting ready to cross over where we've already been, and you'll see this side of the screen, the rows will start shutting off. See it? The technology allows Billy to spend long hours planting, focusing on things other than driving in a straight line. It's allowing me to be able to concentrate more on how the planter's performing in the, on the monitor, looking behind me and being able to make sure all of the, uh, the drives are running. When Billy first started working with his dad on the farm in 2007, Big Bill didn't use precision ag. And he wasn't so sure about it either. Well, we had a serious talk. Uh, number one, it was very expensive. I'm glad I was there to be able to kind of shuffle him along. But I mean, you know, it took, it took both of us to figure it out too. Right, Did you see any sweet corn out here yet, Lily? 
Look, this is the baby sweet corns. Are you looking? But they kept at it because one thing both bills have in common, besides the name, is a desire to keep the farm efficient, profitable, and in the family. I'm very proud, the family's very proud of what he's done, what he's been able to accomplish, not just with his own business, but with the farm. You like the corn? My daughters, I want to make sure that this farm is here for them, whether they you know, are part of it or not. I want to make sure that you know, they have the, if they want to, they have the ability to be able to, to come in and, and help their old man out. <laughs>